So our next speaker is Naira Ivazan, who comes from the Obal, LA Obal Institute of Physiology in Armenia. She does research in biophysics, biochemistry, and toxicology. And I learned last night that she does a lot of work on snake venoms, uh, but also is co-director of a CESI project, building a biomedical imaging network for the former Soviet countries. So welcome, and we look forward to hearing from you. Somebody close. Yeah. Okay, maybe before you find my <laughs> presentation, I would like to uh, thank the organizers for inviting me to be here. It's really very exciting. And thank you, Graham, from for introduction. I'll try to be quite brief to be in time. They, they too, yes. Yeah. So we are one, one community working together. So congratulations from us. Great opportunity and a great service to demonstrate your office. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, everything began last year when we applied for the CCI grant, uh, knowing that we are very much in request of such kind of community, which will uh, get take, uh, bringing together people who are working in a different uh, discipline, different fields of the science, and not only in life science, but also material science and physics. Uh, uh, by their uh, ability to use the biomedical imaging tools for their work. Um, after the successful evaluation in December, uh, we've launched out the, our new uh, community, which, uh, which we call BIAS-C, and this is not only the beautiful title, but it is the abbreviation. We call it Bioimaging Organization for Southeast Europe, because uh, we really don't want to uh, stay within the limitation of the post-Soviet countries because there are the necessity to involve and to expand uh, our society also for other na neighboring uh, countries which are really willing to to join. But of course, uh, it was cl quite clear that uh, the project is challenging. But after the beginning of this year, it became even more challenging, as you can understand from the everyday news. And because primarily we uh, think that it will be society, uh, it will be the community which are gathering the uh, biomedical imaging professionals from Armenia, Belarus, Georgia, Moldova, Russia, and Ukraine. As you can see now, the most of these countries are somehow involved in a different conflict, and really it became our work very challenging. But we are not uh, giving up, of course. Uh, so the formal launching out was in March of this year, and uh, we would say that in the past six months, we've done quite intense work trying to achieve that uh, objectives with what was uh, from the beginning of the society, uh, of the community, sorry, before of us. So what was the 
objectives, we would like to have this uh, bioimaging community, which will be not only just the website uh, for the news of announcements of the different activities, but also a very dynamic functional platform where people could come and try to solve their problem to meet other people who are working in this field and be able to be aware uh, the whole opportunities and tools which are available uh, nearby, whether it be in the same country, in next door institute, or it could be in the neighbor country. Because sometimes it's uh, really the lack of information could be quite drastic, even within the frame of the same country. Uh, so the project overview was... Uh, like this uh, scheme, we uh, decided to form a regional biomedical imaging society with a dedicated website. We've uh, decided to create a database of bioimaging equipment and expertise available for collaborative projects and or trainings. Uh, to publish quarterly e bulletin with updates on recent publications by the network members and to conduct annual society meetings. This was just the first uh, view of the uh, goals which should be achieved and I would say with proud that uh, uh, in these six months we've been able to achieve most of them but of course this is the upgrading process and very dynamic process and we are now trying to increase and expand in our community which uh, have now up to 150 maybe reg registrants from different countries and it is already not limited by that countries which I've mentioned but the geography is much wider because we have some other uh, post-Soviet countries like Kazakhstan, the representatives of Kazakhstan, but also people from Iran, Israel and I Iraq are also been interested to join our community. Uh, so the the basic core of uh, trainings and available equi equipment, which was the first uh, goal to uh, train people and to try to make this equipment, which is quite complicated, became more routine and more familiar to all specialists in our uh, country, which are not only with the life science background, with physics or chemistry, but also medical sp specialists, because uh, uh, in, uh, in accordance with the CZI, this last goal, we also think that the, at the very end, all this equipment could be very much uh, involved in the diagnostics or some other me medical applications and could be very, very useful for that. I would say that, for example, hyperspectral imaging, which is not ordinary uh, methodology uh, for the biomedical imaging now is very much and very fastly uh, in involving in the diagnostics and even surgery. And uh, we also have the goal to try to make this link between our community uh, of clinicians and medical people who would like to be able to um, use this application for their everyday activity. Uh, so what was uh, the other activities? We have the monthly seminars which are in hybrid format so uh, with the speakers which are the very top level of specialists of the bioimaging uh, until now we've had these five uh, but it is also continuing and we have the list of speakers until the end of year most of them still from the usa whether it be george washington university emory medical school or rush university some of them are uh, talking virtually but we have the audience with the people who are in person present but also some of them uh, if occasionally could come in Armenia by their own because we can't uh, financing the USA specialists they also are quite pleased to take a talk uh, to give a talk in person uh, summer workshop we've been uh, we've done in from 7 to 3rd of August I would say that uh, the educational programs with different models or with these three equipment and methodology we've had every week for the local people and for uh, for uh, other parts of Armenia not only capital as every very small countries the whole scientific life is focused in the capital but we also would like to uh, educate also persons from countryside uh, but this one summer workshop was uh, international and we already uh, announced uh, the 
workshop which was fully covered uh, from our side including the traveling and uh, training and also very nice social program of course so it was not only training but a lot of fun uh, and the education was split to the four models of confocal microscopy in parallel with cell staining because we've decided that it is very important to not only teach how to use the equipment itself but how to obtain the good scientific results which can't be possible without say cell staining skills and uh, two models of hyperspectral imaging and atomic force microscopy uh, as you can see uh, it was very interesting and uh, the guys from different level of their professional activity and from different fields of activity, they've been very excited with the workshop and find it very, very useful for them. Uh, the next activity is the upcoming meeting, which we will held in uh, October from 70 to 10th in our capital, Yerevan. And actually, I do understand that it is very close uh, date, but I will be very glad to invite all who'd like to participate. It will be really very interesting. And we have already the conferred speakers again from USA, from Israel, from, of course, a lot of uh, post-Soviet countries. Uh, and we, uh, will we will have a limited number of uh, travel and accommodation grants for uh, those who are mentioned in these countries, except sorry of Russia because you know it is under the uh, the sanction it is no registration fee but we also have will have the bias image and poster competitions with three prizes uh, for first second and third places uh, and uh, we think that it would be very interesting competition for young generation of scientists who maybe will not have the courage to give a talk but have a poster presentation and will be encouraged to continue their work in this field Except of this, we are uh, now developing the models for high school, for children from high school, not only the level of professionals, and also the hyperspectral analysis. As I've already said, this is quite mobile technology. So we had a number of seminars, uh, hands-on seminars with demonstration in different clinics of our country. And uh, it was also very interesting because the methodology was totally unknown for our professional clinicians, and they find it very interesting to uh, make such kind of innovation in their work. Uh, well, uh, concerning the dissemination, uh, this autumn is very, very active with the scientific life in our country, and we've had a number of festivals which are very uh, widely announced and more of them are uh, international. Maybe some of you know about the Starmus uh, 6, which is a, a huge international festival, which is combining uh, scientists and art stars. So that's why it's Starmus, it's different stars from uh, sky and from showbiz. And uh, we've had the presentation of the project on the booth during this festival and we will have another two dissemination events which is upcoming before our annual meeting one is a global innovation forum again very huge international festival and the other one is so-called pan-armenian scientific uh, conference which is uh, uh, in, in some cases will gather not only the scientists but also the local stakeholders and this is also a very good opportunity to not for us to make the dialogue with governmental bodies because uh, the core facility, which we already have, it should be, of course, uh, uh, increasing and we should uh, be able to apply for new grants for equipment, which is sometimes much easier to do for the, our local governmental grants than uh, by the international other opportunities, whether it be Horizon Europe or CCI or some other things. Uh, so with this, I would like to thank you for your attention and I'm very glad to answer any questions. Thank you.